Kakeba. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to dance? If you want to go ahead, we can do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. Great, let's set out. So mind your own biz, whatever like is. We go through it. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look, there it is now. Morning. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here. You're right. Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? There it is. Class F, huh? Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but... I was hoping to be with Miss Kano.
you doing? Why are you wearing a jersey? Uh, what do you mean, why? We've got practice after class, remember? Well, we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. Just quit blaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Cos. You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? Good grief. Listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Oh la la, how wonderful! I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. That's what I like to hear, my boy! Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. student? Huh. Hmm. You're a... Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. Ten years ago, your parents... I'm sorry. I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school.
Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F, that's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Oh, really? I thought you might know, but wait. How close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. here when I was a second year in middle school. It's pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, hey, it's Yucatan! Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Anyway, Who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now oh, I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? you forgot already seriously don't say anything about last night okay Just 
met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so... But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You're the man. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Yo!
think so? By the way... Maybe.
Jocks on their run. Hey, you thinking about joining the club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop's at Iwatodai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow.
Yeah.
Welcome back. Yes.
I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko.
So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. So dance, if you wanna go ahead. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations. But it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? You saw something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Any other questions? There are only four students in this dorm. You, Takebakun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, but it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? If you wanna go ahead, Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh, Clever, isn't it? Uh, you'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Mayumi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's... Do it. Uh, it sucks. I'm serious! I was scared yeah, shitless! Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. Yeah, whatever. That is hilarious. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. That's stupid.
The time is now 12 a.m. Still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the Dark Hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord sooner or later. Hold on to this.
Until we meet again. Want to stop somewhere on the way home? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. This is Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever gotten it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Well, let's check out the CDs first. New? I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Ah, damn it! Oh, I am not leaving empty handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it! Yo, one more try. Just one more.
relaxed to the sound that goes around and around and around and around. She said, Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire. Every day we inspire, but never expires. But we can chill today, let me ride the world tomorrow. Yeah. How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation... This subject is rather... unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <clears throat> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman. That's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. <laughs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one.
Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay! one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Uh, oh, let's pull back! What are we gonna do? It's at the front door! Should we go upstairs for now? Let's go! It's here. <laughs> Wait. <sighs> Go. 
to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli.
you can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now then. Time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um... I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I, uh, I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but... There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kinda panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Thanks. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Alright, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness, so I think you're free to go home. See you!
Stupid or something. again on the way home I feel responsible for that you know let me make it up to you come on home safe feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. Ah, 
There you are. Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Hey there. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. So many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. It occurs each night as the clock strikes twelve. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw them. Those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well, in any case. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's, for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the Shadows. Mitsuru Kirijo-kun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Unfortunately, the police can't do a thing during... Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona. The power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Perso- That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. 
I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Ooh, <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. I'm <laughs> glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. That's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? You know. Because it's the weekend? Shall we end? Shall week end? Get it? Hi, how have you been? <laughs> We've met before. Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. It's the end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know much about it. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. Could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. Okay.
Hey, he's here. So what's this about? Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a sec. Junpei? Why are you here? Don't tell me! This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. But he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Do you guys know that? What's with the top guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. But I really want to... You gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? Uh, I guess... Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we can start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? It's a place that holds the key to understanding the Dark Hour. Or so we think. And the key. The chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. Can I have a minute? Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I 
have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Man, he doesn't waste any time. She's not like us. She's busy, you know, with the student council or whatever. Whoa, Yucatan, do I sense some hostility? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... I don't know. Okay, school days finally over. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. and delayed our train so much. It's already dark out there. It's been happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. This apathy syndrome thing is getting out of control. Crap! Everyone else is there already! Oh, man. I'm getting kind of hungry. It's small rocks! So many places to chow down. Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. here. Heck yeah! Let's get Now, I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring. Uh, so, I asked this yesterday, but what is that tartar thing again? It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? What? It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadow. The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to... Uh, well, you're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the dark hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer, but investigating them... The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it... Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. That's one hell of a responsibility. But the heroes of justice will prevail! It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa. They're nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. 
He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. <sighs> yeah, I know. Relax! Old Junpei's got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. Not much point, anyway, since I can't summon a persona. Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully... Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. Just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary dis- A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! <sighs> You're in charge. look like a captain calm down he has experience fighting already wait seriously that's true too but the main reason is far more simple junpei and you too takiba 
Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can. Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty, but at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas, and some, and when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be time when they are difficult to grasp. But do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scared next time. Once again, may you open the door and come here of your own. I'll tell you then about my true role the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again, farewell. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Door. Man, are you loco? Have you been nodding off? You seem kinda out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. We'll be following you. Come on, let's go. Leader. Hmm. 